right, we just left the Colorado River back there, so we're in California now. Um, you can see it over here too a little bit. And uh, the Great Western Loop has started. We started at the border, Arizona, California, on the river. It's now 7,000 miles before I'm back right here. Dry. Nothing going on, a few shrubs, but I'm just walking straight across this. The key here is you get up really early. Today I was hiking about 4.45. And you hike as long as you can, usually maybe 11 a.m. or maybe even noon. And then you uh, take a break. On trekking across the desert. Pretty sunny today, but finally got some wildlife. Got all kinds of sun protection on. Sun gloves, bandana, hat. So it's, it's avoiding the hottest part of the day, carrying enough water, and just being smart. So far I've seen quite a few jackrabbits. I saw two deer earlier, and I just saw a coyote. So things are looking up. Sonoran Desert. It's not as ugly as I thought it'd be. Sometimes on night one, it's just a windstorm in the desert. Went to a local trailer park and found a tank with water. There was nobody out. It was kind of creepy actually. But the things you do for water here in the desert. It is hot, dry, and sandy out here. But have no fear, I got my seeker weapon. Don't ask me where I put it, but I know where it goes and I know how to use it. We're in a really weird area right now. I have 20 miles to the next water. And then at that point, then I enter Joshua Tree National Park, which this is going to be about a 70 mile waterless stretch. It's joined up with I-10 over here. Following this up to the summit where there's a, a cafe and gas station where I can get water. And that's also where my 72 mile waterless stretch starts. So that is going to be interesting. Is this thing on? Oh, damn it.